All right, so I just wrapped up a presentation entitled The 2024 Digital Marketing Plan for Concrete Coating and Decorative Concrete Business. Now, if you own a concrete coating and decorative concrete business and you're wondering what should I change, replace, improve, adapt, what's trending in the market, what should I be looking out for, this is the presentation. So make sure that you continue watching this video until the very end. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel, give us a like, share the comments. If you have any questions while you're watching the presentation, write them down, leave them in the comments. We'll make sure to enter them for you and uh, continue watching. I'll see you on the other side. This conversation needs a 2024 digital marketing plan for concrete coating business owners. Now, the question is, Danny, I, I'm just starting out or I own a decorative concrete business or I do flat work. This principles still apply for you and to you and your business. It's for the residential decorative concrete, concrete coatings industries. This is the same playbook we use for our clients that do flat work only. They do decorative concrete, polishing, staining, sealing, floor coatings, one day coatings, metallics, uh, resurfacing, overlays, you name it, even vertical concrete. I know as a business owner, we have a ton of things pulling our attention, could be employees, fires at home, fires in the business, kids, spouses, et cetera. Just be here now. Dedicate the next 60 minutes for your business. This is going to be very well worth it. We're going to go into um, some serious conversations here as to what's in store for 2024. Just stay engaged in the moment. Focus on the facts and the results that you're seeking. Make sure you find a pen and paper so that you can take notes. And then also important, ask questions as you get questions. Next, I want to share with you the the verse and the message that we have here at Concrete Marketing Crew for 2024, which is Joshua 1, 9, to be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. And what does that mean for you as a business owner, as a leader, as a family man, as a spouse, as a mother, as a father, as a, the owner of the company? I want you to go into 2024 knowing that, hey, whatever comes my way, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be discouraged. I know that God is, is with me wherever I go, and that is how I am moving forward. And if you take this mindset from going from a victim into a victor, let me tell you, there's just a different reality that opens up for you. Because while everyone else is retrieving, while everyone else is just complaining about the economy, complaining about the precedents, you're moving forward. And that is what we're here to do uh, in this industry. So in this conversation, we're going to go through a lot of content, a lot of marketing material. I want you to take it serious because in the context of the conversation, there is an arc that you must build to thrive and survive whatever comes your way in 2024. And if you don't have the basics in place, let me tell you, you're going to find leaks in your, in your arc. And before you know it, you're going to be sinking. So I want to make sure that you patch up whatever needs to be fixed, that you take this conversation seriously, because when you do, on the other side, you're going to be booked out. I would love to hear what are some of the biggest wins that you're grateful for in 2023? Type it into the chat. I would love to celebrate you. Breaking into the commercial industries. I love it. We have Anthony saying transitioning from nine to five with epoxy side hustle to full time. That's what I'm talking about, Anthony. And that's what we're here to do is to provide the support, the system. Jeff says, startup of my franchise location. Yes, sir. Love it. That is exciting. Matthew says, deciding to take a coding business full time and focus on it. So you're here for that reason. Now, a, a little bit about us here. Concrete Market Crew, who we are, who's this guy, Danny Barrera here? Well, Concrete Market Crew started out back in 2017. I was in a year of transition, 2016, 2017. I went to divorce. I owned a marketing agency that I was a generalist in. And uh, basically that was the year where I decided to niche down. And for me, concrete was home. My father was in the trades. He ran a construction company, one of the only polishing companies in El Salvador. Back in the day, they didn't have the Lavinas that they have today. I just don't even know how they do, used to do the airports. Uh, they used to have a lot of people and a lot of machinery. Uh, but that got me started into Concrete Marketing Crew. And since then, we've grown. We've served hundreds of clients throughout the country. But here's our crew values. The first thing is we're all committed to being the best version of ourselves. Because here's the thing. I know we can never be the best version of ourselves to our clients if we're failing at home. If we're failing at managing ourselves and at being connected with God if we're failing in taking care of our health. So it's very important to be committed to go all in. 
The next one is responsibility. We take everything with the utmost responsibility here. And as we have grown, we learn how to navigate the responsibilities. Next one is excellence. We love to do everything with excellence here. Whatever we're navigating through is a constant improvement of staying consistently. And last but not least is world-class and redefining and defining what it looks like. Some of you, this is the third masterclass you're attending with us. And every time they just get better. And that is because we're constantly refining and taking what we've learned uh, from the last. Our mission in the industry, in fact, we're on a mission to profitably enhance the lives of 500 concrete coding and decorative concrete contractors by helping them get more leads, book more estimates, and sell more projects, resulting in more time, freedom, and profits by 2025. The number 500, we're going to be updating it to 1,000 here shortly as we move into 2024. That is because with everything going on, I can tell you that we are very on track to be able to accomplish that. So Vivid Vision is to create a positive uh, workplace, 500 active clients and 50 virtual team members where we are uh, fully virtual. Our account managers are here locally in South Florida, uh, but the rest of the team is, is throughout the world. And we love our crew. We love our team. And 500 positive reviews collected. That is our Vivid Vision by December 31st, 2025. And I want you to take note on this. If there's something you need to get serious about is understanding where do you want to go? Every time I wake up, number one, I know what I got to do in order to make this work. Do I have a positive workplace? This is my, my North Star, if you will. When I make decisions about budgets, marketing, et cetera. So if you don't have a vivid vision, I want you to just get serious about getting that dialed in so that as you move forward, into the next couple of years that there's some clarity into where you want to go and you're not just out there collecting money in the marketplace. Because you could do that. You could provide for your family. Uh, you can make a very good living as a contractor. But the moment you take this serious and you're saying, you know, I'm going to go from just working as a contractor, as an installer, I'm going to become a business owner and make the business run without me. And there's a direction that I can install and instill in every individual. Man, you start to move mountains and you don't even know it. This is These are some of the crew members here. Others don't like to be highlighted here, but some of them are here in this call. Very talented individuals. I appreciate each and every one of them that comes here. And what I want to know from your end, I want to know what are some of your biggest goals for 2024? Type the answer into the chat. What are some of the biggest goals? This could be revenue. This could be growth goals. This could be profit goals, which is another level of conversation. You want to cross seven figures. You want to make your first half a million dollars. I'll show you the path and the plan. It's very doable. Thank you, Anthony. Go from one main operation to have higher employees. Boom. Our commitment is to help you get there and move forward. Matthew says, match my previous business revenue. 100%. Very doable. You got a plan. You work the plan. You make the pivots. You can move forward. Pedro says, I have at least two crews busy year round. 100%, brother. 100%. Love it. Planning for 2024. This is the 2024 digital marketing plan. We're going to talk about a couple of things that may not be so digital, but other things are will be pretty much all digital. The first one, we'll start out talking about the avatar. The avatar is shifting and changing and evolving in 2024. If your avatar was the avatar of 2021, of 2022, and you're not pivoting, you will be setting yourself up for major disappointment where the buyers that were buyers back in 2021, they're just not, not buying the same way. So we're going to get clear on that and how that affects everything else that we do from our website, paid lead generation sources. We're noticing what you should be paying attention to, top organic lead sources online and sales conversion strategies, as well as understanding numbers. Let's start with the avatar. Who's been your ideal buyer in 2023? Every time I walk into a consult with a concrete coding company owners, especially when they're on their two crews, they have no idea who they're selling to. They just want to sell to whoever wants to buy. There's going to be some patterns and trends that will help your marketing decisions be more finite. For example, if I want to get a specific type of buyer that lives in a specific type of neighborhood or tends to live in a specific type of environment, guess what? They might be listening to a radio show or television, or a sports team that makes it better for me to go and advertise in other channels like TV, radio, newspapers, etc., direct mail. So I want you to think about this. Who's been your ideal buyer in 2023? I don't want you to give me 2021, 2022 numbers. 
okay, well, these are 500, 600 square foot garages, you know, or 5,000 ticket item, average ticket item. I just want you to ask yourself, who's my buyer? And once you got that dialed in, we can move into the conversation of sales and marketing. Okay, let's move into the conversation of the website here. What I want to talk about is the funnel journey. And this is something that we're shifting more towards as we move into 2024 is going from building an SEO driven website to building a client experience website for our customers. There's five questions that you must be answering in your content, in your pages, in the videos that you create for your website, for your social media, et cetera. One of the books that I recommend is They Ask, You Answer. They Ask, You Answer. 2024 for us at Concrete Marketing Crew is the year where we empower our clients to become the go-to by creating the best content. How do we make our clients' customers' journey so enjoyable that they attract premium clients? That's the goal. I don't want you to fight for the crumbs for the leftovers. I want you to be able to capture the biggest side of the, the, the market. So the, back, the big five are, are crucial. The first one is cost and pricing. What are the questions that people have about cost and pricing? How much do you charge? How much is a two-car garage? How much is it? And when you go to Google and there are so many questions about like how much does a two-car garage cost in whatever city you live? And now you create a piece of content that's perhaps you're not giving them the bottom line number, but you're helping them understand how you arrive at cost and pricing. So for example, if you use a six step process where someone has to grind the floor, where there is an extensive preparation process, repair process, the materials used and how those materials affect cost and your pricing is very different than them getting just an epoxy kit that they could just lay in uh, two hours you know, with a roller and sprinkle it uh, all throughout to make it look kind of like okay as an epoxy kit. So there's a big difference that a consumer may not understand from what does it really cost? Because then what it means is it's costing your entire day. It's costing you to go out there and buy the equipment, do it yourself, and then have to do that every year if you want to keep the garage looking good. Or you could get it done professionally one time. And there's a cost and a process that goes right with it. So you can give them some ranges, some ideas. And this is a video that I want you to also record and create for you and your company. Because you're going to get that question. You might as well have that video already recording and answer that question for your prospective customers. And say, hey, one of the biggest questions we get is how much does it cost to get a two-car garage? Well, it really varies. And it varies because of because of the condition of the concrete, because how old it is, because if there's more cracks than others, if there's more repair, the grinders and equipment we got to bring out, as well as the product that we're going to be utilizing and the process that we're going to be utilizing. So now we go from someone that is, quote unquote, a tire kicker to an educated buyer. So cost and pricing, I want you to create that video as well as get that page on your website. Next one, comparison. If you offer polyurea, top coat, poly, spartic, whatever it is, which one is better in, in a specific environment? Why do you choose to install this specific process? And it is up to you to create the best process for people to understand why your options might be better than the competition. Now, ultimately, you want to be 100% transparent. Hey, this doesn't work for every single customer. You know, if you want a one day install and you're installing an epoxy floor and it's taking you two days to install, you have to do a comparison, right? Might not be the best fit for them. So you want to attract the premium clients. Guess what? You can talk about comparisons in products, comparisons in installation process, comparisons in everything that you get. You can talk about UV stability. You can talk about anti-scratch, anti-slip, whatever it is. Come up with different angles and talk about that. We get asked all the time, hey, can you tell us a little bit about Concrete Marketing Crew? And what do you guys do? And I'm like, yeah, 100%. Let's go to Concrete Marketing Crew. I walk him through it and I said, hey, you know, one of the sharks from Shark Tank. Have you heard uh, of the show Shark Tank? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we actually got an endorsement from one of the sharks in Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. We got this specific endorsement because we built a reputation in the industry to serve our clients. We're not the best fit for everyone, 
but we're the right fit for businesses that want to grow and want to understand how to advertise and market the right way without the hype. Is that something that you're looking for? Okay, great, perfect. So that's the type of company we're building here. And I wanted to share that with you because a lot of times you're getting the questions of how are you different than the competition? The answer that you give prospective clients is not always going to be on the same product level. If I go and say, hey, so how we're different? We're, well, instead of using Bright Local, we use Yex. So instead of using Yex, we use a press release system, right? We're not getting to the features. We're playing at a different level. Pete Johnson, come on board here. We have an incredible event coming up here in 2024. I want to make sure you all take advantage of that. What's going on, brother? How's it going? I'm good, man. How are you guys? Very good, man. Very good. In my world, you're considered a legend. You've been <laughs> here for a while. How do you train your clients to differentiate yourself when there's a lot of competition? How should they be thinking about addressing comparisons? That's a complex topic and it kind of varies based on markets and products and everything. But the biggest mm -hmm. thing that we always tell everybody is, you know, education over sales. Um, mm -hmm. When you can educate your customer on the products you're using, the system and get them to feel confident in all of that. And then they're going to have the comfortability with you and your company. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have a diverse offering. So if you're just doing flake floors now, right, and you want to get into quartz and metallics, right, maybe you want to offer sealers, diversification is key because you want to be able to offer all of that to a co-owner and not just limit yourself. But when you can educate them on the process and more importantly, how the system and what you're providing benefits them. Mm -hmm. And we always call it like long-term value, long-term adhesion, right, in the coatings world. And when they can see if they're paying five grand for a floor that they're going to be able to get out of 1.5 X, right. And they can go put $7,000 value into their house. So you got to sell yourself. You got to sell your company. You got to be confident. And I think that starts with the marketing side of things all the way through your in-home sales and then follow up hundred percent. All that stuff is all done through reviews. Thank you for sharing brother. I'll bring you back here uh, at the end of the call. Everyone, make sure you stay around. There's some uh, special offers we have for you. This is big. He mentioned something there, which you are the difference. If you have a vision and you know where you're going and you're building a team that's meaningful, not just to collect a check, and you have the mindset of a business owner, entrepreneur, you can make this a very profitable business for you and your family. So how does this look like, Danny? Like comparison is a big one. Yes, it is. But if you put together a website that sets you apart right out of the gates from anyone and everyone else, and you talk about differentiation, you emphasize the values of your crew and your company. You're not talking about the product in itself. The conversation becomes about who is the one, about the who, not the how, about the who, not the what. And that's premium. This is why some people spent thousands of dollars buying uh, Louis Vuitton uh, bags versus whatever you can find uh, at Walmart or whatever else. Why? Because it's about the who, right? So how are you showcasing? Write that down. How am I showcasing my team? Yes, invest in video. Yes, invest in your branding. Yes, invest in how you're presenting yourself. Yes, invest in all of those things in how you're uh, representing yourself. Why? Because it's easier to sell that than to go head to head, toe to toe, with another organization. Now, if you're part of a franchise, part of a system that gets installed, that is a bonus. But you, your company is the who. Your team is the who. Uh, very important here. A big push for our clients 2024 is we're revamping every client. If you're part of the Concrete Marketing Crew growth program, we're managing your SEO, your website, et cetera. You get a free website whenever we re make these revamps here. So another one is the problems. I want you to uh, write and create content that talks about problems. Do not be afraid of talking about problems. Problems could be the product failures. Why do you get tire marks on the garage floor? Why is my pool deck falling apart? Why? Because people are looking for those specific things. You can create a short video explaining what that is. The other thing that you could do is just never write about them. And then things happen and you get someone that's like, now, you know, I want you to come back and redo the floor or leave you a one-star review versus you can educate someone to understand how uh, your product works in different environments, different usage, and to ensure that they're educated. Next one is best off. Uh, what you recommend if you're diversifying in 2024 and you're offering different uh, options as far as sealers, staining, resurfacing, overlays, 
epoxy, metallics, coatings, one day systems, write a blog post about the best off system for your specific uh, geographical area and write it from on the premise of an install that you've performed. So for those clients that are marketing crew clients and they use company camp, guess what we're leveraging now? And we're starting to design this whole process where we're going into company camp, gathering all the pictures, all the data about the product, whatever they've entered about the specific project and writing a blog post about that specific project. And if you don't want to hire a marketing agency to do it for you, you can go to ChatGPT and you can literally give it the scopes and say, ChatGPT, write me a blog post about a sealed floor at so-and-so home. It was some so-and-so square footage for this customer. And the condition of the concrete was this. This is what the customer wanted. And there's a fi finalized product. You give that to ChatGPT. On the other side, you're going to have a better written blog post than the majority of SEO companies out there. Like that is the reality of the market. It's so much easier to create this type of content. And if you want to do it, you want Concrete Marketing to, crew to help you out with that, perfect. And if you don't want someone to do it for you, but you want to learn how to do it, we have Codemaster Lab, which is the training portal that where we train you on how you can do it for your business. Reviews is another one, is highlight your client reviews when you're showcasing everything that's happening within your community. Again, not making it about yourself, making it about the client experience. And the more you can highlight those things, you can share your story, the more you can highlight your customer's experience, you're going to have a lot better uh, conversions when it comes to you selling the processes. If you have a question about the, the websites, uh, as far as what you should be focusing on in 2024, this is it. The era and the time of AI is here. And if you're not humanizing and personalizing your content by you sharing your voice, your story, putting yourself out on camera, creating content that's human relevant for you and your industry in your local area, you will stay behind. That's the reality. So make it a priority. You can leverage AI for this. You can leverage Concrete Marketing Crew. There's a lot of other companies that do this type of work as well. Paolo said, speaking about the problems, showcase your experience and knowledge. 100% Paolo is our, our technical SEO here at Concrete Marketing Crew. She knows what she's talking about. I have a special here for you in the conversation of your website. There is one bonus here for you, which is the pictures that you use. I want you to double down and getting better pictures. So we've created this specific resource. It's available to you at concretemarketingcrew.com. Go to the free resources. And this is the photography checklist PDF. Our team put this together for all of you guys and gals here. You can learn simple tips, how not to take pictures, how to take the best pictures that you'll be able to leverage on your social media advertising campaigns, but more so on the conversation of the website. All of this makes a big difference to the final product. Maddie, how much of a difference as far as CPL cost per lead does it make to have better pictures than that? I have a sample that I can show. I have a, a client who's taken a blurry picture of a floor. It barely looks like that there's a difference between the before and after. So this particular ad right here, it's a very blurry, grainy floor. Does that even look like chip coating? Does it look like just the, it's all the shadows? It's dark. No engagement on the photo for comments. And this picture in this particular client, he was getting an $86 cost per lead, right? Mm -hmm. But then we, you, this is a totally different picture. That's an incredibly beautiful close up with beautiful um, um, detail, not that much graphic information here, just a beautiful fresh picture. And it slashed the cost per lead from $86 to $41 in a very competitive area. So is it the client? Same, same client? client? Same client? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for that. Again, this is here to give you the real information, not the hypey things. We're going to create partnerships with our clients. And that means that there is responsibility on both sides. We're the media buyers. We're leveraging and investing our clients' uh, hard-earned dollars. And we're going to do it to the best of our abilities. But there's got to be this piece where we want to make our clients unique. We're not using our ad accounts. We're not using our... In fact, when you get a website from Concrete Marketing Crew, is your website. You own it. We host it. You own it. If you choose to move uh, somewhere else, 
guess what? It's your website. We'll give you all the files, the logins, everything. That is the way we do business here at Concrete Marketing Group. It's very different than other companies. And we do that just so that we can bring transparency into our space here. Let me go and present in the PPC world, which is pay-per-click. The reality of the marketplace is there is more competition. And as far as the user intent, user buyers, the buyers that are out there, they're still the same. So how you capture videos and pictures will make all of the difference. Uh, there is a client here, um, and this guy is in Alabama, if I'm not mistaken here, and um, he takes incredible pictures. His cost per leads are always very consistently. I mean, when we launch and we're in the season, I think he might get leads for under $20, very consistently. Resurfacing, overlays, yep. metallics, you name it. Meanwhile, we have clients that are struggling to get and this is not a strategy thing. This is a, a media that what we're using to advertise. That's the reality. So getting better and getting consistent results from Facebook ads comes down to the media. Why? Because that's the first thing that people pay attention to. The second thing is how the ad is run. Is it disruptive? Is it disrupting the feed? Does it stay consistent? Is there a strong call to action? Then that's the ad copy. And the targeting is the last piece is what is the quote-unquote quality of the leads. A lot of times we're limited into what we can target these days, but still as far as the main things that we can target, that has a lot to do with who we attract. Be better media will also attract better higher ticket leads, especially for higher ticket items. And this works for all concrete coatings, decorative concrete, flat work, stamped concrete. We have clients that run Facebook ads with us for stamped concrete and they just crush it. Because the media is superior, it looks incredible, people love a beautiful patio, boom, they're signing up left and right. Next is uh, Google Ads. We're noticing that the cost per lead has gone up by about 40% in a lot of territories, which is a lot. 40% growth means in the competition that has come in. So we're noticing that cost per clicks are through the roofs. A lot of times, a single click on epoxy garage floor can cost north of $50 in some territories these days, which is nuts. That was not the case back in 2021, 2020, 2019. Gosh, you could get a click for $3. So now we have clients saying, well, Danny, like how come this is no longer at the price point that it was back in the day? Well, let me just give you the reality. As far as the competitors, these platforms are bidding systems where the one that bids the highest will tend to get more impressions, more clicks, et cetera. So with Google search, there's more competitors coming in. Franchises are advertising through the roof when they launch in territories. And this is where we got to get very strategic in the Google ads in how we're structuring our ad campaigns. So if, there, if you want to take notes and you just want to go over this with your marketing is how, what's the campaign objective for my Google ads? Am I bidding on a manual CPC? Manual CPC, is that my campaign objective or am I optimizing for conversions? If you're optimizing for conversions, historically speaking, as I've looked at hundreds of ad accounts here, manual CPC will outperform optimized conversions if your budget is under $5,000 a month in Google Ads. Maximize conversions will work better for you if you have bigger budgets you have more money to play with, and th there can be a lot more. Why? Because you need more conversions in order for that algorithm to kick in. So a lot of times you will end up paying $150, $200 plus per lead on a maximized conversion campaign. A lot of companies like to run uh, lead generation campaigns with maximized conversions, but you don't have enough conversions data for Google to even give you the best leads. And sometimes you can optimize for the wrong type of leads. So if you're not, if you're not coming through those keywords and the ad groups and how you're structuring your, your objectives on Google Ads, you can burn through money really quick. It is more manual work. There's no AI involved there. We're not letting Google tell us what we should be spending. We're the ones controlling the data, right? As far as what we're targeting. And then that gives us better information that we can now use on the website for SEO, Google business listing, rank trackers, et cetera. 
So I always like to start with the paid ads because that's going to give us data to use on SEO. If someone is selling you SEO without having the proper keyword data that is converting in your territory, you will be taking a gamble. I'm very proficient in SEO. It's probably my number one core competency in, in the digital marketing space. This is what where Copemaster Lab comes in. You want to learn how to do it? Okay, awesome. Or if you want us to help you with that, you can reach out to Concrete Marketing who will help you with setting all of that up. Next is Bing Ads. There is some popularity that's gaining traction. This is not in every territory. A lot of individuals switch over to Bing with the release of uh, AI tools, which Microsoft has put a lot of emphasis in that, uh, which is forcing people to switch their uh, main browsers into Bing. It's not a world changer. It's not a game changer, but you will get higher quality leads from Bing. And what I mean by that is usually the, the demographic, they're older crowd, but it's a lot less as far as volume. If I was to give you a comparison, Google search has 90% of the search traffic. Bing only gets 10%. So in some territories, it's trickles, but it's worth still maintaining some sort of presence there on Bing ads. So I would recommend it. If you're in more competitive territories, I would love to see you give that a shot, Bing ads. And then next, YouTube ads. There's so much out there as far as YouTube ads where you can build the brand in the awareness stage for your business. Anyone here in the home improvement space, if you want to win in 2024, start running YouTube ads now. So when a homeowner pops up their YouTube and they're watching some sort of video online, they get to see your brand. They get to see the beautiful floor. They get to see the transformations. So a Concrete Market Group, a big initiative for us 2024 is to help you with the script writing, to help you make sure that you capture the right uh, video footage. And uh, we're creating a specific PDF document that's going to walk you through what to ask your videographer as far as footage so that you can run YouTube ads. The script is the number one thing that will impact results. Just like in Facebook is the pictures and the video footage. On YouTube is the script writing. The hook, if you're grabbing their attention, the script, what you're saying and how it's being said, and the call to action. And then when you, once you manifest the click into a landing page, the landing page is what brings the conversions. A big push for us. <clears throat> Concrete Marketing Crew is advertising a couple of channels in YouTube right now, which is awesome. And we're getting leads and clients from that. And we have just a handful of clients who are rolling this out as well. And then we have Pinterest. Pinterest is another search engine where you have homeowners looking for decoration ideas. High intent, higher intent than TikTok. I did not put TikTok here because TikTok does not offer targeting in every service area. Pinterest does. Pinterest lets you choose specific territories and it's search-based. So someone's looking for a patio remodeling idea or patio furniture. Guess what? You can put in your overlays, resurfacing, your stamped concrete. If someone is looking for a garage decoration ideas for home gym, man, you could just show them your floor. So this works really well. Are you going to get 100 leads, 200 leads like you can probably get on Facebook? No, but you will get high quality intent leads. And if you want a ninja tip out of this conversation, those of you that are paying attention, write this down. This is ninja. This is high level strategy, which is you build a retargeting audience. That means that mm -hmm. you create a beautiful video that's very engaging for a homeowner that where the, you can showcase the transformation. You run that as an awareness ad. That means you capture the majority. So this is the thing is every objective on Facebook targets a different demographic that engages with that specific objective. The awareness, that top of the funnel, it will advertise to all of, to everyone in your market. So you can run an ad and you can say, boom, show it to everyone pretty much in your territory. Anyone that engages fifth right. or a through play 15 seconds, now you can go and create another ad, ad campaign, retargeting those that watch 15 seconds or 50% of the video. And now you've got a very warm audience that recognizes you and will most likely move forward. We can constantly test out all these different strategies. That's like one of like seven that we have here. We have other ninja ones to help us cut the cost, but that's one of them. And again, we need what? The creatives and the video footage. Mm -hmm. Without mm -hmm. it, it's hard to test and with, without the budget too. So let's go into the top organic. Reviews gets talked about all the time, but reviews is like a referrals system. One of the ones that is trending in the home improvement sector is Nextdoor. If you have not paid attention to Nextdoor, it's like a Yelp or a Google business profile. 
you go and claim yours. If you don't have one, claim it today. Make that your priority. Next step is you get your clients, your customers that have done business with you, get them to leave a review. Why? Because reviews are the number one indicator in next door who's going to rank on top. Sometimes you, you might need to resource to having employees sharing how they love working with you. Maybe you have a close family member. You've done a garage floor in the past. But the goal is make sure if you're getting reviews from people in proximity, reach out to individuals that you've done business with and you say, hey, could you just leave me uh, a, a testimonial to what we're doing in the community? That is also a an organic listing that shows up on Google search. They are doing and investing into SEO themselves, just like Yelp, Home Advisor, et cetera. And the beautiful thing is you don't need to pay per lead on Nextdoor. So it's another ranking system. Yelp is another one. <clears throat> Yelp is high converting uh, channel as far as reviews. If you can fill it out with pictures, if you can incentivize customers with a $50 gift card, $25 gift card. And again, that a lot of times this goes against terms and of services in these platforms. You cannot incentivize people. So you have to find a way to explain it to them. Hey, look, we cannot incentivize you, but we are thanking everyone who leaves us a review for their services. We're not paying you to do it. Uh, Yelp is an incredible converting channel. If you can get yourself 15 Yelp reviews, you will make more money. 15 is the magic number on Yelp. But for every review, it's a residual hundreds in the hundreds of dollars per review. So the company has expanded and grown by hundreds of dollars every month, right along with the reviews per review, per channel. So that's something in the Google business profile. It's also just a challenge to get someone to sign up. Maybe they don't have a Gmail account. So make it an effort that you're self rep, that you're self educating to how to walk someone through leaving a review on the spot. When your project manager is having the customer sign off on the project and it's the end of the day, you can give them a script. Like, hey, Mr. Johnson, how would you rate us in this experience from one to 10? If it's hopefully it's a solid 9.5, okay, awesome, beautiful. Hey, it would mean the world to Jose and his family and Jeff and his family. If you can leave a review and, and let them know how they did. They go back home and they share with their loved ones how they did at work. And if they mention their names, guess what? They get to enjoy it with their loved ones, right? So make it about the team, make it about the crew. Get some more reviews that's going to help you out also in organic. Next one is truck and trailer wraps. The epoxy pros. They're here in South Florida, good friend of ours. We get into these conversations of like, what's the best organic? And we're, we're always quantifying how much money is made from what specific vehicle. He's like, truck and trailer wraps plus bandit signs around the neighborhoods we're uh, doing work on. Guess what? We're getting jobs and we're booked out. And they're not even relying on anything else. They're not doing paid advertising like Facebook ads or Google ads right now. This is a second phase for them. But as far as generating organic work, truck and trailer wraps, bandit signs is a big one. Put an emphasis and focus on doing that as you're doing jobs. You can go and knock on doors. You can introduce yourself and all of that. But this is the most consistent one. Next is Bing ads. Make sure that you are claiming your Bing listing. Just like you can claim your Google listing on Google. You can also do the same on the Bing maps. Now, if you don't have a Bing maps, you can, if you have a Yelp, Bing will read the reviews that you have on Yelp right on the Bing maps. So that's why I said before, you, you get some reviews on Yelp, you will get some reviews on the Bing maps there. So that's kind of like a shortcut that you can utilize. If you make a search, I want you to make that search in your territory, see who's ranking number one, two, three. And that way you can claim your listing and make that optimization there. Bing search, as far as the SEO goes, it works very similarly to, to Google search. The algorithms, they're kind of like parallel to each other. And I would say you have a basic on-page SEO with good content and good backlinks to your website. Bing search ranks pretty high. More content, more searches. And Bing also has an indexer, like Google search has an indexer, which is the Google search console. Make sure you submit your website to Bing search. Uh, and if you do those things, basic things, you will get more organic uh, leads for your business. Andrew, what do you got for us so far? 
Matthew, he said he's actually getting his trailer and truck measured for a wrap today. Boom. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. And make sure you get uh, a QR code. Send it to the website. A QR codes are very strong in the phone numbers. Make sure it's highly visible. The brand is visible and people know what you do. Feel free to reach out to us if you want us to give you some feedback on the truck trailer design and wrap. We're very heavy on direct response as well as branding. So we can give you our two cents if that's something you're interested in. Christopher Matthew. said he's put it in his budget for the wrap and signs coming up. Boom. Love it. All right, let's go to the next one, which is top AI and automation. Some of you are looking for like Danny, what's trending? What's next? As far as AI and automations in the conversation of sales and marketing, AI lead engagement. Let me say that again, AI lead engagement. How can I integrate AI to help me follow up with all of those Facebook leads? One thing that we've always done here is we leverage our CRM is the Concrete Marketing app. Concrete Marketing app is high level. It's a white label version of high level, but we've customized it and we constantly will continue to improve it and test things out. But AI lead engagement is the biggest initiative we have right now. Why? Because we can see the questions that you get the most. We can feed it the information that you usually answer. And then once we have those prompts already in the database, some, anytime someone, a lead comes in and asks you the same question, like how much do you charge? There's an automated response coming through without you lifting a finger. We're tenfolding down on AI and automations because that will help you convert more leads. You have more conversations, you get more jobs. Next one is instant booking systems. We're, we're noticing consumers all across the board. They love to instant book into the calendar. The biggest challenge with that is route optimization, which is knowing what, what side of town you're going to be what day. So I believe by Q2 next year, we'll have that piece figured out. If someone enters an address and if you're using the CRM, it will be able to read proximity based within the radius. We can say, hey, book me 25 miles away from this address on that day. And this is what's available. Or this client wants to book an estimate. Let's see where that salesperson is going to be next Tuesday. Right. Uh, that's the power of AI and automations. Uh, there is a, a system out there. I, uh, I think it's EC Automations. They do have route optimization. It's a, an additional software you got to sign up for. Uh, it does work. Uh, next one is the drip campaigns, which someone comes in. They do not convert on the first one, on the second call, on the third call. You put them on a nurture sequence where you're contacting them every month. And after three months, there is a high likelihood if you're constantly touching base with those prospects that they will raise their hand when you're when they're ready to move forward. Most contractors don't like to hear that reality, but there's a gold mine in your database. In fact, one of the services we're pushing for next year is database reactivation for all of our clients. How do we make that a consistent? How do we make sure we get approvals? What does it need to look like? How do we do database reactivation for those that book an estimate, for those that didn't? Because there's a segment that will move forward and there's a segment that will never move forward with you. But there's a reason why they opted in. So it's our job to make sure that we're consistently doing that. If you're not considering doing that kind of engagement, you will be behind as you have contractors that do embrace AI and automations. In ChatGPT, if you want to learn how to use it, it's quite literally you're just asking it questions and it will feed it back. But our database here, our CRM plugs right into ChatGPT. We can give it your website and can crawl your entire website and can create the most frequently asked questions. And then you will be having uh, AI answering your prospective clients. Or if you want to do customer support line, there is a way to have AI be your help desk for customers. So it's not like a widget that you put on the website. It can work on SMS on the back end. It can work with Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, and the Google Business Profile. All right, let's go into the sales, which brings us a couple of steps closer here to the finish line, which is sales for 2024. I want to encourage each and every one of you to dial in your sales process. This is building your arc. Remember, I started the conversation by helping you build your arc. I've talked about the paid advertising, the organic advertising. I've talked about your website ways and the content that you create for it, the pictures that you use for your ads. All of those are layers for your arc. 
If you don't patch them up now, you will pay the price for them. And the sales is probably the most important piece. Yes, you got the branding, you got your people, but your inability to get in with confidence in front of a homeowner who you know that they're living in the right neighborhood and your inability to close them when they have two or three other people pitching them the exact same service, it's going to cost you money. As far as the digital sales conversion, there's a tool called Flory. I highly recommend you get yourself. It's a visualizer. Flory uh, is built for this industry, concrete coatings and garage floors specifically. And you get yourself Flory, leverage it in the sales process, have the homeowner play around with the colors as you're measuring, as you're having the conversation, have them take pictures before you show up so that they can send you what they want to, uh, what color they're thinking about. Like engage your prospect through the entire sales conversation because the sales conversation happens right when you engage with them the first time. If you're not leveraging Flory and someone is, what is that perception reading as far as the prospective client? Do they want to go with a company that's old school or new tech? Again, that's something you can experiment and test out. It's well worth, it will pay itself off. Next one is the sales follow-up. Danny, I don't know what to say. Well, guess what? This is the beautiful thing about the CRM. We help you install the right sales sequences so that is set it and forget it. Sales follow-up is where most sales are lost. And there's the automated way and there's also the personalized way which you cannot lose and miss out on. And then we have the last piece here, which is your financing options. People always ask us, hey, what financing companies do you recommend? And I recommend that you contact all of them. See which one fits better for your specific uh, business and your customers, your geographical area, the terms and conditions, the promotions that they're running. And we have a client here this year, he crossed a million dollars. And that one of the main drivers was financing, using it at the closing table. Some people say, well, my customers don't want to use financing. Well, this is a different environment, right? If they like you, know you and trust you. And now it's an easy way for them to get started. And then you get paid right there and then. Guess what? You can, you can collect money and feed your family and grow your teams. So go ahead and have this on your radar. David says, how can I word my ads about financing so they, they don't get rejected? So you are either going to have to pick the financing option, special ads category, or you can say things like buy now, pay later. Don't mention the word finance or get your floor now, pay for it. <laughs> In a couple months. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> like payments till 2025, things like that. I love it. Yeah. What about Hearth financing? So I've gotten mixed reviews from Hearth. It used to be good. And then if anyone else wants to chime in as far as Hearth, that would be amazing. Pedro says, great. So much value out of this conversation. Beautiful. I use Acorn, Team Gonzalez. Hearth fees have appeared to increase over the several times. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. So let's go into the finish line here lessons from 2023 that we've taken a better company starts with a better you your employees will never perform better than the leader so as a leader it's our job responsibility to show up and continue to grow and expand in different areas the company's results are a direct reflection of the leader and i found that for myself very truly at different stages of this agency and for every client that i'm working on personally and closely this is a big shift that i'm helping them with another one is Profit first. We didn't talk about the numbers in depth here, but profit first is a model, a business model that I want you to integrate. If you're not profitable on a job, you will go out of business in a, where marketing costs are increasing, lead generation costs are increasing. If you're not profitable and you're not pricing at the right point, you will not make money and you will end up going out of business, which means that it is a requirement to build a better brand. It is a requirement to invest in better marketing for yourself, better presence online. So marketing will help you stay afloat. Next one is creatives and branding over the noise. The solution is to improve the pictures, the visuals that you're leveraging. We love Company Cam. We're Company Cam partners. There's a trial link that we'll post where you can give it a try for some time. And I would highly recommend that you train your crews on how to take better pictures and better video. We'll make sure that you get the link to the guide. Instant lead response is no longer an option. If you're investing into advertising, 
make sure that you have an instant lead response, instant lead engagement sequence automation in the mix. Otherwise, you will pay for the lead and they will just sit there. They, they're going to go cold. If you call them two days later, they're not even going to remember who you are. Unfortunately, that is the speed of the market. Next one is sales process over lead volume. You can increase your profitability by closing more jobs and spending less on ads. That only happens if you have both worlds dialed in. So you need both of them. It's the chicken and the egg, which one starts first? Well, you need leads first in order for you to sell someone face-to-face. -face. You can survive in referrals, but at some point in time, those will come dry and then you're going to realize that you need advertising and lead generation. So make sure that you understand that. But as far as which one is the most crucial piece is improve the sales process, improve closing, improve objection handling, improve value building, improve what you do before you show up at the door. And then we have the last one here. Consumer spend is tight in many territories. The solution is to improve your sales process and improve your marketing. And that is 2023 in review here. If you want to hear how we can help you out in 2024 to grow your concrete coating and decorative concrete business, uh, the first one that I want to mention is a very important event here. Uh, if you do take advantage of this event, there are going to be some added bonuses from Concrete Marketing Crew. So we got the coatingsmastermind.com. This is for companies that want to grow and scale in 2024 that want to be ready for whatever market pivots, changes it must make. There's going to be conversations in sales, marketing, fulfillment, which is install, recruiting, growing profitably, understanding your numbers, understanding company culture, all the way down to how you can diversify in 2024 to stay ahead and stay profitable in the year. It's going to be an incredible event. I have a presentation that I have not shared anywhere else and I want to make sure that you're ready to take advantage codingsmastermind.com. I want to make sure that you secure your spot. Now, if you're not a concrete marketing crew client and you do take advantage of the codingsmastermind.com and you do become an enrollee out of this specific conversation into the codingsmastermind.com, email us, danny at concretemarketingcrew.com or info at concretemarketingcrew.com with your ticket receipt. And we're going to give you 50% off your first month into whatever program we have going on. So that is a big deal for us here at Concrete Marketing Crew. You got to take advantage of this before the end of the year for this specific offer here. So it's a win-win. We're going to help you make more money. If you want to pay for the ticket right now, awesome. Just make the investment. Pete Johnson, talk to us about the event here. What do you have in store for us? Well, thanks, Danny. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing event. So this one is in Dallas, Texas on February 26th. So that's a Monday. And then we pretty much have a full day event from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. all about business growth. So if you go to codingsmastermind.com, you're gonna be able to see a lot of the actual speakers and all the topics and everything that they're speaking on. So for the Joshua Broad, Danny, myself, Isaiah, Justin, and actually we're adding more speakers to there. The big thing with this is everything's geared to our industry and it's all about how you're going to be able to accelerate your business. So we're going to take everything Danny's talked about on the marketing side of things, but we're also going to talk about how do you take an owner operator out of the field to go, where's, who's your next first hire? How's your operations guy look? Leadership, hiring, firing, customer service, acquisitions. Maybe if you're, you're in a spot where you want to sell your company, we got a Victor coming in to talk about how to sell a company, somebody who's um, not been in our industry per se, but actually runs a coaching group who helps people within our industry. And um, he sold his company for 65 million plus. And so he's done it right. So again, Dallas, Texas, it's February 26th. That's a Monday. You can get all your tickets right online through the codingsmastermind.com. So if you guys know anybody that's in concrete and coatings in general, so that's flat work to stamp and sealing and staining and coatings and everything in between, this is what we're going to be trying to give you guys in a way so you can level up your business and get that market share from your competitor. So if you know that you can go and learn from all these people that have already done it, you can go back and take tactical information into your market immediately when you get back and then start 2024 off on the right page. So that's my sales pitch. Obviously, Danny's got an awesome promotion that he's throwing on there right now. 
you'll start seeing a lot more of that type of stuff. So if anybody's obviously in the Facebook groups or anything like that, you see me post on, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, it's uh, Concrete and Coatings Mastermind. That's the page. There's a group. Everybody can join. That's where I kind of put in a lot of my the information of what's coming and everything that way to keep everybody up to date on new speakers, new sponsors, topics, getting feedback from all you guys. We do have a VIP after party. So you would, of course, have to buy a VIP ticket for that. But as Danny's shown here on the web Facebook page, and you're going to be able to see all that, the VIP after party is going to be your perfect opportunity to do a lot of meet and greet with everything. So I know that might sound expensive at $1,800, but I promise you're going to 10X that investment. And we didn't even talk about the all the speakers because if anybody that's been in this industry long enough knows who Bob and Leanne Harris are, the keynote speakers are the absolute goats of our industry. They have been at the World of Concrete for 20 plus years. So lots of powerful names who are going to give you guys all of their secrets and how they've grown a company in our industry. And that's the tactical information you can go to basically take your $1,800 investment and go turn it into 18000 So it doesn't matter if you guys are doing residential, flake floors, quartz floors, urethane cement, stamping, staining, anything that has to do with concrete in any way, shape or form. Here's the beautiful thing. You go to the VIP and you get connected with these two individuals here. Bob is the number one polisher in the world in decorative concrete. He is what companies call to around the world. Him and his wife is a two team combo. They are the number one. And a lot of times they don't want to take the jobs. They don't want to go and do it. So guess who they're going to go in and introduce a project to is someone that's probably in proximity, someone that they got to know at an event, et cetera. So there's a lot of opportunities for synergy here. I am a big believer in investing in your personal development and business development. Your business will never perform better than where you are at right now in your understanding of business. And marketing and what we do here at Concrete Marketing Group only helps build one gap specifically, which is your lead generation effort. But then you have you have to deal with your fulfillment, your people, your processes, your systems. Maybe you want to sell. Maybe you want to structure this the right way for for you to step out of the business and you want to go into the next thing. Well, guess what? Yes, this is going to be an incredible support. And the goal is to empower all of you into the concrete coding and decorative concrete industry. So it's a big push for us here. If you're interested, go to the website here, codingsmastermind.com. I want to make sure that you take advantage of it. And if you do sign up from this specific conversation here up to the end of the year, make sure that you send us Danny at ConcreteMarketingCrew.com or info at ConcreteMarketingCrew.com, the receipt. And if you're considering working with Concrete Marketing Crew into the future, you let me know and we'll make sure we lock down a 50% discount on the first month. The goal is to help you make back what you invested. The next one uh, that we have here, another way to grow is the Cope Master Lab. Cope Master Lab is our coaching and training program, which is specifically in the sales and marketing conversation. When it comes to sales and marketing, guess what? You need to learn how to market yourself effectively. So we go, if you if you like this kind of information, we actually break everything down and we troubleshoot campaigns with you in real time. So if you're running your own Facebook ads, you're considering running your own advertising when you're starting out, uh, this is an incredible place to start. Uh, we've had clients that wanted to take over their own marketing. Uh, now they're part of the Codemaster Lab and it's an incredible opportunity. I, the way I build it is to train you the way I, I train my team which is very hands-on. We look at everything that you're doing and helping you in real time. There are three calls that happen live. This is not a training portal where you log in and you're all alone. No, we meet three times a week on average. Matthew just got started with us yesterday. We did an onboarding. We helped him set up his Facebook business manager, Facebook ads. Uh, it's awesome to get you launched and to help you understand the marketing aspect as well as help you improve your sales process. And there are those of you that don't want to learn how to do it, but you just want to delegate it all. That is where Concrete Marketing Crew comes into play. We are here to help elevate the industry, and our goal is to help serve our clients. Now, I, I just have a big disclosure here. We're not the best fit for everyone. There are some people that get very upset about not working with us because they're like, they told me that they couldn't take me on. Don't take it personally. We always find a way to work with you as the best way possible, whether it's by providing you the information. Maybe we feel like, hey, the better place to start would be in the coaching in the Cope Master Lab. But Done For You is a very exclusive opportunity. In 2024, it's going to be an even more exclusive 
opportunity because we want to make sure we help our clients navigate whatever comes their way in a very personalized way. And we're making a big investment into our relationships, into our clients. And if you're part of the Codemaster Lab and you want to ascend into a fulfillment, but well, you understand what you're getting into. But partnerships are a big, important piece of our business relationships and partnering with our clients. A lot of individuals come from Pete's world. They come over to us and they grow and they scale and they're blowing up. They're having best years ever. And that's what we're here to do is to elevate the industry, but to give you the results that you deserve. I want to thank you for your time. If there's one word you're leaving this conversation with, give me a power word. Type it into the chat. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve you guys. We've got confidence, engage, knowledge, expertise, growth. That's right. Have an amazing rest of your day. Let's go ahead and crush 2024. ConcreteMarketingCrew.com is where you can find more information and we'll see you later.